Uh, oh, yeah. I was really surprised to hear you're going to be a teacher at UA this year. I was wondering what brought you here all of a sudden. After all, your agency is in Minato, Tokyo, and everyone yeah, knows... Creepy. Today I'm going to share with you some easy ways of using umeboshi plum that are so delicious your taste buds will cry for more. Are you ready to share, Deku? Yes, more than anything. Watashi wa wakaumasu. First, here are a couple pro tips on using umeboshi. When used in cooking, the citric acid in umeboshi helps to tenderize protein and calcium. When cooking oily fish like mackerel and sardines with the waboshi, the bones become so tender that you can eat them and the sourness helps to counteract fishy or gamey flavors. <laughs> I've heard that waboshi served at the center of a bowl containing rice is said to be a symbol for the Japanese national flag. Is this true, Yuli? But why would you choose to give me a gift like that? Pureed umeboshi plums replace butter and salt for the most incredible tasting corn on the cob ever. Is this, is this what I've been waiting for? And now, here are three easy to make recipes for you to try. How did I end up so lucky? Oshazuki, green tea and rice soup. You'll need one cup water, one packet sencha green tea, one half to one teaspoon umeboshi plum paste, three quarter cup cooked organic short grain brown rice, a quarter sheet sushi nori cut into thin strips, one teaspoon green onion finely chopped. Now I love Lombard rice. It tastes delicious, it's organic, and it's the only rice grown in the U.S. that's been tested and proven to be arsenic free. Now place water in the pot, bring it almost to a ball and place your tea bag in the soup bowl. Pour the hot liquid over it and steep for a couple minutes. Remove the bag and place the rice and umeboshi plum in the bowl. Stir, garnish with nori and scallions. How does it taste Midoriya? Guys, I'm kind of worried about the class rep thing. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Umeboshi Plum Dressing Now for this recipe you'll need 2 teaspoons umeboshi plum paste, a half cup water, 1 teaspoon scallions finely chopped, 1 teaspoon fresh parsley finely chopped, 2 teaspoons mirin, and 1 teaspoon rice vinegar. Place all the ingredients into a processor and blend them into a spoon. Serve them over salads, rice, raw or steamed vegetables. Now another variation of making this dressing is to eliminate the paste and substitute ume vinegar in place of the rice vinegar, increasing it to two tablespoons. Deku! You can call me Deku, but I'm not the same helpless, defenseless kid as Midoriya! And lastly, Julie's rice noodle bowl. You'll need two bundles of rice noodle, two teaspoons, miso paste, two cups hot water, fresh parsley, umeboshi paste, fresh ginger chopped, Bragg's amino, and an assortment of raw vegetables. I like to use green onion, chopped green beans, mushroom, we even use frozen peas. First, boil your water, add your rice noodles, and let them cook until they're soft. It takes about five to six minutes. If you want a softer noodle, leave them in as long as eight minutes. But keep the water you cook the noodles in. Equally divide the rice noodle water. Add umeboshi plum paste to taste. I like it really soft. Add in half a teaspoon fresh garlic, a squeeze of Bragg's aminos, one teaspoon in each bowl of the miso powder, and stir. Now for a little more color and a little more variety and flavor, I like to add a little paprika and also some black pepper. Once that's done, equally divide your noodles between the two bowls and then place your vegetables on top and then let the noodles sit 
for two to three minutes. You've got three simple recipes and some amazing pro tips for using umeboshi that will give you a delicious edge in making your meals taste wonderfully delicious and stand out from the crowd. Let's give a hand to my amazing assistant. Yes, Midoriya, you most certainly are. If you haven't watched my first two videos on Umeboshi Plum featuring my hero Todoroki and Gotta Go Fast Tenya, click the links to your right to learn more about this vegan superfood ingredient. And click the bell to be notified when I post my final video in this series featuring You Got It Baku as we share with you how to make your own Umeboshi paste and vinegar at home. Tell them Baku. Alright, fine. So I may have walked into the wrong room. Don't think that means I'm not going to be on top of my game, you got that? You better bring all you got to this, Icy Hot! You already said that. Thank you, Deku. You've been terrific, and you're definitely a superhero. Right, All Might?